Father, Lord, we bless you for today. Thank you for bringing us today, 15 of our 40 days of glory. As we continue today, be with us, O oh Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Welcome to day 15 of 40 days of glory. We give God the grace for giving us the strength to come this far in this prayer program. Our theme for today is the mighty hand of God. Uh, I'm going to be reading from the book of Nehemiah, chapter 2, verse 18. The Bible says, And I told them of the mighty, of the hand of my God, which had been upon me. Praise the Lord. Uh, you know, this was Nehemiah. Uh, Nehemiah, uh, the walls of Jerusalem had collapsed, and Jerusalem is the city where Nehemiah uh, was from. And he decided that he was going to go build the walls of Jerusalem. In, in, in making that decision, one, he has to be released by the king under whom he served, and also he had to travel through other cities, and he needs the favor of the kings of those cities to let him go through. And once he got to Jerusalem, he also had the burden of having to convince enough people to join him in building the collapsed wall of Jerusalem. Uh, besides that, he also faced oppositions. There are so many cities, Sumerians, Hamonites, and the Hasjudites, who are against him, who will try to fight him, and who, in fact, fought him as he tried to build the wall. So Nehemiah was building the walls of Jerusalem with one hand, and he was fighting with another hand. And Nehemiah was talking about why he was able to do all of this successfully. And he said, I told them of the hand of my God, which was upon him. It was the mighty hand of God that was upon Nehemiah, which enabled him to be able to achieve the ordinary, uh, praise the Lord. And also, the Bible talks about another man in the Bible. That was Prophet Elijah in the book of 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 46. 1 Kings 18, 46. Then the hand of God was, the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah, and he girded his loins and ran ahead of Ahab to the entrance of Israel. What had happened in this passage was that King Ahab had traveled has been traveling to the uh, to Jezreel, and um, uh, he was traveling through a chariot. The chariot is the fastest means of transportation in the days of Elijah. Now, Elijah, they've gone ahead of Elijah, and Elijah wanted, uh, this, the Bible says the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah, and Elijah got power and strength, and he ran barefooted, not with anything, not with chariots or anything. And he overtook uh, Ahab and he got to the entrance of Jezreel before they did. So the hands of the Lord can give us speed. He can enable us, empower us to do things that we would ordinarily not have been able to do. And today we are going to be praying about that. So we are going to pray. We are going to pray today. We are going to pray through prayers and the first prayer we are going to pray, we are going to ask the Lord to stretch forward his hands into our lives. We are going to tell, Lord, stretch forth your hands into my life this year in the mighty name of Jesus. And go ahead and make that declaration. Strength forth your hands into my life this year and begin to declare, let your hands give me favor. Let your hands give me divine empowerment. Let your hands give me speed. Let your hands give me deliverance. Go ahead and pray to the Lord. Lord, stretch forth your hands into my life. Let your hands give me favor. Let it give me peace. Let me give me deliverance. Let it give me divine enablement in the mighty name of Jesus. There may have been distances you've missed in the past. There may have been things in which you are lagging behind like Elisha was in, in, in First Kings. But when the hands of God came upon him, he received speed. Today, pray that the hands of the Lord will come upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. The hands of the Lord represent his work, the things he is capable of doing, the things he can do, healing, deliverance, provision. Let go ahead and pray that the hands of the Lord will give you healing. The, land, the hand of the Lord will give you favor. The hand of the Lord will give you deliverance. Go ahead and make that, pray that prayer now. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Lord Jesus, I declare upon your people, Today, that the hands of the Lord will come upon you. In any area of your life that needs divine touch, 
I declare that today the hand of the Lord will come upon you. It will give you favor. It will give you deliverance. It will give you speed in the mighty name of Jesus. In every area of your hand, life this year, you will witness the mighty hands of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. As from this moment, the mighty hands of the Lord is upon you. Wherever you go, you will be favored. Whatever you lay your hands upon will be productive. You will be successful. You will be the head and not the tail. You will be above and not beneath. In the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. God bless you. I'm Pastor Oye Alunga. Peace be unto you.